and welcome. I'm gonna make a video to help somebody out here. Um, there seems to be a problem with uh, how the Arcan Lakes B scripts work and, and if there's an error or anything really, and whatever error it is, you need to tell us, you know, you need to be able to copy paste the output that's on the terminal and that get it to us. Now, as a thumb of rule, you have to go to Arc Linux, right? And in this uh, website, you have this help button. And what did I notice? There is a lot of things uh, you can help yourself with. I mean, help us help yourself is the idea from this little thing here, this help thing is give us a peek. So peek is a possibility to show what's happening on your system. It's kind of an uh, animated GIF that you're creating on your uh, Arch Linux system. But sometimes that's not suitable to make anything. Let's hope there is a video in here. I accept, okay. So this is a peak recording and it gives us information what's going on in your system. And it's just a little thing here that shows, okay, everything is up to date, but we get this string, strange thing, catfish ignoring package upgrade. So you want to show us something. Peak is one thing. Now, there are other things to do that. Um, help us to keep the AOR up to date. So help us help you with keeping the AOR up to date. This is a way to mount things. So I, I'm using a bay. There are lots of SSD bays out there and in different continents, they have different um, tools. But basically you pop in an SSD and you pop it out. So you can distro hop all you like and you just keep one distro un per SSD. That's the best advice I can give you. If Calamaris gives you issues, you can help us uh, fix that too. So that's not our project, but we endorse it. We, we love it and we, we support it and we try to make it better as well by reporting issues. How to share your hardware specifications is explained here and how to share your, your images that you have so via image. But what's not in here is how to share your code with pastebin.com. And since more and more people are, are asking me basic questions like how to copy paste code from A to B, then I'm going to show uh, and make a video about pastebin.com. So we can uh, make an account there as well, uh, pastebin.com. But let's, uh, I see that I don't uh, have it at this point in time. Doesn't really matter if you're an account or not, but I like to have an account. So you can log in or create a account here, new paste or past, past paste, paste. And um, we can copy paste everything from here. So let's um, do the exercise that somebody else likes to do if you do a uh, build. So Arcanix B is where you say I will not download. That's not the idea. You can of course download ISOs that we have, we have built. But the thing is, we always get the um, question, we don't, uh, the ISO is bloated or the ISO doesn't have enough uh, applications. We want more applications. We want LibreOffice. No, we don't want LibreOffice. We want OpenOffice. The thing is, you decide what you put on your system. Build your own ISO. Do it yourself. So if you say, I want to build an Arcanix B one, that's a minimal version already. So you compare to the two files between the full version and the minimal version, and you'll see what we have left out. The rest is essential, more or less. So we could say, let's try and, and build us an i3 minimal, and um, let's get the procedure out of the way. So control C, all I need for this um, tutorial is well to, to get cracking and to make a um, B. there it is, and to make a git clone, so control shift V. I'm git cloning this thing, Arco i3 minimal. So this is the guy, that's the code. And this is the file you need to change. Let's change something just for the fun of it. I do like the new mix icons. So I'm gonna put the new mix icons back in like so and a paper icon, why not? So I'm making it bigger. You can put anything in here that's from the Arch repos, from the Arco, ISO repo, Arco Linux uh, repo, but not from the AOR as such, because that's then post installation. You make a script to install yay minus s Spotify, yay minus s something else. So you add stuff um, 
from AOR later. Post install. So um, that's that. We've changed a little bit. So that's the idea of Arc Linux B. Change the file, please. Uh, any way you see fit. Make sure, of course, you don't delete the important stuff. But it's if it's just applications that you want to delete or add, it's there. Then you go to the installation script, right mouse click, and go for 30. Run this thing. It checks if you have Arch ISO. If it's not there, it's going to install it and so on. But the thing I want you to provide me, and let's stop this, this here. Uh, no, control C, control C. So when at some point in time you get this error, we need to be able to analyze it. So what you give me is a code from the beginning till the end. So beginning till the end, and then you say here, control shift C. That's the way to do it. You go to your paste bin thing here, up here, pastebin.com, control V. Then you get all this code in here. All right. And then syntax highlighting non past expiration, never past exposure, public folder. Okay, create new paste. Enter captcha bh6 and a p submit and then you have this code up here. This is public code. Everybody can take a look at this particular piece of code. And what we go is uh, sorry, what we do is then go to the form, paste it in there, and then we can look at it and say, okay, everything looks normal, everything looks normal. All right, fine. Huh, here the error occurs, and then we are. Well, we can maybe help you. That's the idea. We want to help, but we need information. So this is how you go about it. If you have an error in a terminal, we need to output. So everything in here, control shift C to the website, control V, and then uh, give us this link up here. All right. Thanks.